So, let's talk balls. Your balls, my balls, everybody's golf balls. I'm down here at Holland's Hall Golf Club today to ask Titleist just that. Let's crack on, let's get these questions answered. Right, so, down here now on one of the, the little practice area that we're, we're gonna use. The idea we've got is got five stations set up with four different golf balls, uh, or four golf balls for each. Each golf ball is a different style of Titleist golf ball. The idea within this is that I can try and give feedback as to what am I feeling. Or even on a 15 yard shot, I might be able to try and feel a bit of a difference, what our preference is, and how it's all gonna be. So let's go take a look. Well, that's one thing to kind of drill into everybody with golf ball. I can give you a soft golf ball, I can give you a firm golf ball from a manufacturing standpoint. Yeah. But your feel is personal. Yeah. So it's just like that we say that Pro V1X is a little bit firmer than, than Pro V1. But if you told me that it felt softer, who am I to tell you that you're right or wrong? Yeah. Like, that's your feel preference. Mm. We don't want to give you something that feels awful, feels alien to you. The way that we fit golf balls is flight, feel, spin. Yeah. That, that's one of the main characteristics that we look for. And that checked up a bit more. Now, is anything different about the flight? Yeah, it was lower. Came out lower? Yeah, it came out lower. Yeah. But stopped quicker? Yeah. Yeah, see, so just a dead feel off it, uh, but not not in a nice sense. Feel preference so far going through, and we've we've tried three now, so we can start to start to talk about it. Have you had any preference on second? Second one. Second, yeah. we had a doubt. Yeah, much yeah. much better feel on the second. And again, any slight differences here? Um, the first and the third were a similar flight distance. Oh, so the first one was a higher flight. Yeah. The second one was a bit lower and a bit nippier. Yeah. The third was kind of a bit bodgy and scratchy. And he didn't really know what he wanted to do. But that, that was probably strike on me. Okay. The fourth one, I probably didn't strike them as good. Yeah. So it's a hard one to tell. But yeah. It did a bit, but it didn't do as much. But it's fair to say, through the different balls that we tried, we've automatically noticed a difference in flight on a 15 yard. Shot. Yeah. 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 There's definitely a, a, a yeah. palpable difference. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's just, it's mega, mega soft off the face. Yeah. One thing with golf balls is, is they are gonna do pretty much, not the same thing for everybody, but they're gonna have that same characteristic for everybody. Yeah. So that golf ball that was softer, that launched a little bit higher on this 15 yard kind of pitch shot, that's gonna happen for pretty much everybody out there. The second golf ball that you tried was Pro V1X. Right. Right, okay. That last golf ball there was DT True Soft. Right. The reason that Pro V1X spun is because it's got a softer cover on it. Yeah. So you've got that urethane cover on there, which is the only part of the golf ball we're actually activating for this shot. Yeah. So DT True Soft, it's, uh, it's got a firmer cover on it. It's, right. it's not going to grip the grooves like a Pro V1X would. Yeah. So that where we're not really activate, activating any, any part of the core of the golf ball on this shot, it's that cover layer that's doing the work for you, which is why you see Pro V1X launch that little bit lower. Yeah. Because the covers grips the grooves. Right. And why you see DT velocity that we hit first launch right. a little bit higher, because the golf ball is technically sliding up the face that little bit and not gripping the grooves, which is not producing any backspin on that golf ball for you. Right. That's interesting because we're not all going to be able to afford to get a, a all right, I've just bought some new wedges. I've not got them with me, but I've just bought some new wedges. But this wedge I've got here, I've, I've had now for probably five years. Too long. Too long, yeah, way too long. But it's not been in the bag for three of them. Yeah. Um, so, relatively new wedges for me. Um, so that's interesting because not all amateurs are gonna be able to afford to get the spinny grip wedges and stuff like that. So, yeah. the, what I'm using here is what probably most amateur golfers, in theory, in essence, might be using. Yeah. So they're gonna get that kind of reaction on the greens with that club. So feel and reel is always a very different thing there's as well, isn't it? Yeah, there's gonna be three elements to producing that backspin. Strike, yeah. your wedge, and the golf ball. Yeah. Um, ultimately, Jordan Spieth wouldn't be able to get the spin he gets on a Pro V1X out of a velocity golf ball no. and play the shots that he hits around the green. So why would any amateur golfer be able to do that with less ability, 
less consistent strike we need all the help we can get yeah uh, we mentioned it earlier just over a coffee in the bar rob that actually we hit less green yep. than a tall pro yeah so we need to focus our golf ball on right okay more stopping power makes that target area bigger for us and then if we still miss that target area what is going to give us the best chance to get up and down yeah and the shots that are closest is with what golf ball So, what Joe's going to be doing now is I'm going to hit uh, a number of golf balls now to about 100 yard flag. The idea is to try and get an idea of feel again off that and off strike. So you guys seen a real golf here, people. That was skinny. I off the first. That was that. That was quickly. But stopped really quickly. So we can see. I've got you to velocity. Right. Um, velocity has gone 14 foot higher than any other golf course. Right. So velocity is designed to launch high fly high. Okay. Um, it's a low spinning product, as we can see there. You actually only spun velocity at an average of 3,100 on your pitching wedge there. Pitching wedge. That's what are you looking for spin numbers off a wedge? Seriously, look. I want to see above 8,000. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, not everybody can produce that. No, um, they're definitely not me. But we want to make sure that. As close to that number as possible. Okay. Um, obviously, iron is going to be a factor in this. This is why we always ball fit uh, the golfers' golf clubs. So we yeah. don't want to just grab some random golf clubs, give them them, and say, "All right, you're a Pro V1 player." Yeah. We can see as soon as we went into Pro V1 X, five thousand seven hundred eighty-four, six thousand and fourteen kind of spin numbers. We've hit AVX as well, which is around the five thousand two hundred kind of mark. Again, you're a thing for golf balls, and for you. You're hitting carry 114 to 120 between these three different golf balls. Velocity being the longest versus launch the highest with, with low spin. So it just shows that even for an amateur golfer, there, if you're putting different products in play, we've got that six, seven yards difference in yardage you get. Yeah. So if you one day play velocity and then one day play Pro V1X, there's four yards difference between them. That's 12 foot difference between your shots. Yeah. In carry distance. Not to mention the fact that Pro V1X is going to stop a little bit quicker and velocity is going to have a little bit more rollout. Right. Okay. So I think the message to kind of get across probably is that Pro V1X is performing best for you here. Yeah. In right. So we've moved on to another hole now. I've got 153 yards to the pin. Wind behind, I'm going to hit a 7 iron, so this is really going to be testing these golf balls to its maximum. Wind behind, trying to control it going into a green. Could be quite interesting this one. Let's crack up. Eight. Yeah. That was a nine. 
one more golf ball which is a different one so I've, again I have no idea what this is going to be uh, or what I have to expect from this and we'll talk about it in a moment Dimples on this, massive It, it looks like I'm looking down at the moon It's a little bit different Right, so that's 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 the seven iron test done with, as you can see, very mixed results. Uh, it's always nice when the ball fitters laughing at me for stuff, um, which I really love the confidence there, Joe. Thanks, Absolutely, mate. No problem. So, cool. What what have we got? So, basically, uh, the first few that we tried were probably one X. Right. Okay. The second lot of golf balls that we tried were AVX, and the third lot were Velocity. The Velocity ones, so the ones I just kind of semi shanked that were Velocity with it. Yeah, you hit the good ones as well. Yeah, a, a, a few good ones. I did it a few good ones. Um, yeah, the, the first ones I hit, I mean, the, the, the first couple of shots hit were, were good pearlers, they were nice ones. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I did like them much more. Um, the second lot, I, I don't know which lot was the first, second, or third. Yeah. Uh, it says how many golf balls they hit of each. Yeah. Uh, there were a few that I found that. So, we've done Provy on X, Velocity, and so Provy on X, AVX. Yeah. Velocity. The Velocity ones. If, if, if that was like you know from they ball were, six onwards, they were probably the back six shots. The yeah. back six shots, yeah. They, they didn't didn't feel nice for me at all. Uh, wasn't keen on on the feel off the face uh, yeah. that much. The strike were all right, but then uh, so like we said, flight feels spent. Yeah. So didn't really like the feel of velocity. But what did you think of the flight? The flight was very high. Yeah. Very very high. Something uh, that feels to you. So it's a bonus, yeah. definitely, but my, my worry with that is that we've just been talking about hitting balls with wind and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah, I want a high ball flight if I'm going downwind, but is that going to then hit me if I'm going into wind? Uh, it depends on how high you're hitting it and your perception of high. Yeah. Um, obviously, there's got to be a kind of a, a, a cut off for both. Yeah. We want to make sure the golf ball is going to give you maximum performance in surf, but then maximum performance down as well. Yeah. Um, but while maintaining the same product yeah. uh, in, in your round of golf. Um, one thing that I would say, looking at looking at some of the data that we've kind of got here, is you're quite a low spin player. Yeah. Um, so very, very low spin. So I want to give you as much height, to be honest, as possible. The, the highest you've hit the golf ball is 72 feet. Right. I, I really want to see 90. <laughs> Whoops, we 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 want to put more height on your goal shots. Okay. Um it's only really gonna be affected by the wind if we put too much spin on it. Okay. Uh we've got that high flight there with with quite low spin as we've got we're not really gonna cause you a massive problem. In okay. fact we're gonna give you we're gonna give you better results downwind and not really affect you into the wind. Um as well as a, a tour pro, uh, an elite amateur golfer, any amateur golfer, I think it's I, it's better off starting on high spin, yeah, and bringing that spin down. It's okay. much easier to do that by hitting those three quarter shots rather than trying to add spin to a yeah. golf shot. So if we're low spin all the way around and then we want to add some spin, I'd say that's quite a hard thing to do. Yeah, it, slicing across the ball to try and add some spin, we're also going to add curvature by doing that rather than just taking a club extra, gripping down the shaft, a nice smooth swing, yeah. automatically produce lower spin. Right. Much, much easier to do. So I'd always want to see you on the high end versus versus the low end, okay. to be honest. The spin as well will improve distance dispersion. Okay. So everyone thinks about dispersion as lateral. Yeah. We've got to think about distance as well. Watch the guys on TV, if they miss a green, it's usually pin eye. Yeah. Makes it much, much easier to get up and down. So a couple of shots that we hit with velocity between your, we deleted all the bad ones. Distance Distance dispersion. Yeah, so we're talking about velocity against Pro V1X, and this is where people misunderstand spin as well. Spin is going to give you improved trajectory control. It's going to give you improved landing area to hit yep. a golf ball. It's going to stop quicker, but it's going to it's going to increase distance dispersion or well, decrease distance dispersion. Okay. So we talk about lateral. Yeah. But we need to talk about distance as well. Between your kind of the shots that we said that you hit above six out of ten yep. with velocity, there was 15 yards between the shortest and the longest. There was only nine into Pro V1X. Right. So it's six yards tighter dispersion with that golf ball. And that yep. extra little bit of spin, but it's spinning at over a thousand RPM more right. in, into Pro V1X. Um, yeah. 
thousand rpm more in Provio and X than velocity there on that on that seven iron shot. It's giving you that extra kind of seven yards, kind of it's tighter a, it's landing gap. Better yeah, control. Better control. Yeah. And Both golf balls have the same dimple pattern as well. So flights, mm. apart from the launch, flight peak height yeah. should should be pretty similar with both golf balls. Brilliant. Yeah. Cool, right, so what next? Driver. Driver, right. Let's come back when I've cleared my throat. So now this is gonna be one of the, the final tests we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna make driver now uh, as relatively accurate as I possibly can. Felt quite firm that off the face. Felt quite firm? Okay. Yeah. Oh. That felt like money. Good. That really felt like money that. Good. So I think I think an important thing to kinda of say as we're kinda of going along with this as well, Rob, is the reason that we've been hitting the golf balls that we've been That's interesting that, right. same ball yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's say that it's, it's a mental feeling real <coughs> right so that's the drives hit uh, as you can see there was a couple of pull left ones fortunately I've not got shot trace I'd like to shot trace most of those but I've not had a chance to do it um, on the whole most of them were fairway finders weren't they yeah, uh, most of them were fairway finders a couple of pull lefts and one or two high ones but there's a couple that, that really did go out the button really well uh, Rick and me are working on a baby fade so I'm, I'm happy to see that the first three or four maybe five or eight were, were nice little baby fades so on, what, what's the numbers what's what we're we looking at so uh, as a company as a brand we say there's four to six yards between our whole golf ball range okay so like we said before we put you to hit I do my golf ball fit off the wedges and my irons Okay. I then get someone to hit driver, just basically to show that there's no difference between the golf balls off the tee. Okay. Um, if there was a little bit of a difference at this point, because driver is the least used club in your bag, I would start to adjust your driver to the golf ball. Okay. If I'm being perfectly honest. All right. Okay. So Interesting. driver generally only comes out of the bag. I would say between eight and fourteen times around for the average golfer. Yeah. Whereas iron shots, wedge shots into the green, that's for your mid handicap player, which which you are. Yeah. That's forty four percent of your game. Uh, the yep. other 40% being put in and 16% off the tape. Yep. So where do we really want to focus on? No one has ever asked us to make a golf ball that's short and spins a load off the tee, so we encourage a slice so the golf ball doesn't go as far. Play. So as we can kind of see here, off the tee, DT True Soft, right. 197 carry. Right, yeah. Velocity, 201 right. carry. Okay. Probably 1X, 199 carry average really so not uh not a lot of difference not a lot of difference between them at all if anything there's five yards covering all of them 
so four to six yards actually worked out perfect there. That's I'm surprised the Provy one, yeah, I'm surprised <laughs> the Provy one X though was, was actually as low down as it was. Um, um, or was that down to strike? That was quite interesting. In terms that. of low down? It's it says, because it says like the, I'd have thought the Provy one X would have actually carried the furthest than the rest of them. Uh, uh, not really, because all the golf balls are low spin off the tee. Okay. Um, so this is where between high spin and low spin people get maybe a little bit confused. So the question that I said before earlier in the, the, other, the, the other part of the segment is when it comes now to um, golf ball manufacturers, I, I've used, over the last few years I've used several different manufacturers of golf balls. Um, just try and find something I didn't know what to I was trying to find but trying to find something some manufacturers one in particular had three different styles of golf balls out all part of the same branding yeah. but for three different sort of swing speeds yeah so they'll say if you are under 90 mile an hour use this speed if you're under yeah. 110 use this and 120 use this or no over those swing speeds that's what you should be using is the much it, like I said you guys the premium brand golf ball yeah. you know uh, uh, let's not let's not joke about this um, you know the, the, there's two other manufacturers out there that are, are there thereabouts uh, or I like to think they're equal um, but you've always been self-confessed as the number one ball in golf yeah the stats prove that yeah so when they're coming out saying that you need to swing your golf ball at 85 mile an hour or at 90 mile an hour to get the most use out of this golf ball is there anything in that? Because you guys have never confessed to that. You guys have never said anything like that. No. Uh, I'm interested as to why would that be marketed, or is there any uh, truth behind that? Or what it was, Joe. Jo, I, I put a, a thing out about uh, uh, some golf balls I got, uh, which were for 85 mile an hour swing speeds and above. Yeah. And you tweeted straight back to me, didn't you? Going, Rob, come down for this. Is why I'm here. Come down for a fitting. And I'll show you why swing speed isn't relevant to a golf ball, yeah. which was a challenge. Yeah. You kind of laid me down a challenge, Absolutely. which I kind of like. So I, I'm here literally as a pauper going, please tell me, explain, please, if you could. Well, how many swing speeds are you going to have in a round of golf? Well, you yeah. Got, you've got 13 different golf clubs in your bag, excluding your putter. Yeah. They're, each one's a different length. You've got graphite shafts, you've got steel shafts in there. You can't swing your six iron as fast as you can swing your four iron because it's not as long. Same with your four iron and your driver, same with your pitching wedge and your six iron. You can't. Every golf club is going to be swung at yeah. a different speed. Every golf shot is probably going to be hit at a different speed out there. We've then got chip shots, they've then got pitch shots, yeah. we've then got the little half shots that you might want to hit with a little bit of a longer club to keep it under control. Yeah. The way that we fit golf balls is as we've mentioned before, flight, feel and spin. Yeah. So I've got a couple of golf balls that will go higher, I've got a couple of golf balls that will go lower, I've got some that will spin a little bit less for someone who's high spin, I've yeah. got some that will spin more for someone who is low spin. Now just because someone's quick doesn't mean that they're high spin, just because someone's slow doesn't mean that they're low spin. Okay. It's not always going to work like that. Feel preference as well. So you get a golf ball that needs to be hit at 85 mile an hour, right? 50 yard pitch shot, what are you going to do? Hit it at 85 mile an hour? No, yeah, good point. <laughs> good point. 100 yard shot. <laughs> Me and you, drag Jordan Spieth down here. Hit, Bring him down, cool. hit, hit a 50 yard pitch shot, roll of thumb, 50 yards, 50 yeah. mile an hour club head speed, 50 mile an hour ball speed, it's going to give us a 50 yard shot. Yeah. On that shot, I just want to give you as much control as we kind of shot, saw on the shot earlier, coming into the green. So, our fitting methodology is from green back to tee. Yeah. Focusing on short game, but then focusing on flight and spinning the iron shots and the scoring shots as well. Yeah. Not focusing on how hard someone's hitting it, yeah. because five, seven, as we've mentioned probably a million times already. Yeah. Um, each club is swung at a different speed. You know, playing around the golf, sometimes you're tired, sometimes you're not tired. You have lessons, your swing changes. We want to make sure that you're hitting it at height, yep. that it comes down with a landing angle to stop into the green, with yep. enough spin on it to stop, and enough spin to give you that distance dispersion. Yeah, All those elements are, are going to kick in. It is not about just this person hits it really hard, like they need a Pro V1X. Actually, spin will keep your golf ball in the air as well. Yeah. So if someone's not hitting it very hard, but in his very low spin, 
giving them more spin is going to keep their golf ball in the air that little bit longer hence the golf ball will carry on going forward which is what we spoke about with me isn't it which is what we've spoken about with you and as we've actually seen which is the golf ball that's actually produced you the most ball speed all today yeah it's been the well, the velocity and the pro v1x have been the two really haven't they yeah uh, yeah but he's, he's come down to more the Pro V1X out of all. If we take all the categories into a, into consideration, what we've used today, we've yep. done we've done four different categories today, as you've seen. We've done the chipping, we've done the pitching, uh, we've done the seven iron, and then we've done the driver. Now, out of the the only one that's actually won more than the Pro V1X, well, sorry, Pro V1X has won three out of the four today, haven't it? It's been the velocity that's won the driving in terms of the actual overall distance. In terms of distance, didn't win, didn't win ball speed battle. <coughs> no, it didn't, did it? No, no ball no. speed battle, 125.7 with the velocity, 127.2 with Pro V1X. Right. With a, a club head speed, which was 0.1 difference between them. Wow. Um, it's just that you had one not as good hit with, with Pro V1X mm. um, compared to velocity, but actual dispersion as well, you actually hit Pro V1X a little bit straighter. There you go. So, that's massive. And I'll be honest. So, pitching performed miles better. Yep. Wedge performed miles better. Yep. Seven iron gave you that little bit extra as well in terms of spin and distance dispersion. Apart from the shanks. Apart from the shanks, <laughs> which will be velocity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, for two yards off the tee, would you sacrifice those three elements? No, not a chance. An extra two yards carry? Not a chance, no. No, 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 so, no two ways about it. Absolutely not. So it's come down to, out of all the golf balls we've tried today, that the Pro V1X seems to be the right one for me. Absolutely, yeah. And I've, I've guesstimated that this year, because I've been gaming the Pro V1X. And I think uh, one thing to, to take into consideration, though, was on about with ball speed and stuff, how many amateurs can actually say for definite they know what their swing speed is to have been choosing one of those golf balls yeah. of those other brands? Yeah. So that, that's an interesting taking into consideration as well, their thoughts. And I so. have this conversation all the time. I always say there is a lot of amateur golfers know the driver club head speed. Yeah. They don't know the pitching wedge. No. They don't know the seven iron. They don't know the four iron. They don't know how hard they need to hit a 50 yard pitch shot. They don't know how hard they need to hit an 80 <coughs> yard pitch shot. So the only one that they know is driver. And as we've mentioned, it's the least used shot in your, in your bag. Yeah. Um, and as we've noticed, four to six yards between the golf balls, are you going to sacrifice all that short game control for four yards? No, no chance. No. Brilliant. So there you go, guys. That's kind of my comprehensive ball fitting. I thought do something a little bit different. What what's been out there for amateurs for golf ball fitting? We've seen pros getting fitted, but not the likes of us, not the likes of me. So I just want to thank, first of all, Titleist for for allowing this as well. Hollins Hall for being a brilliant, brilliant host. And yourself, Joe. No worries. Thank, Thank you so, so much for your time. No uh, for yours. Thanks for getting in touch. Thanks for contacting me. And thanks for giving up your time for coming doing this. No Folks, if you like what I've done on here, please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and give it us a like. Also, as well, follow uh, Joe on uh, on Twitter. I'll put his link up afterwards. And please follow Titleist on this. Massive, massive thank you. I hope this has been some sort of a help for you guys uh, in some shape, way, or form. But I think the thing to come down to this one will be where you can get a proper ball fitting done. I don't think many of us will do that. Um, that's just one. Before we go, one last thing. Sorry, I'm going to cut this in a minute. <clears throat> We're speaking before about winter golf. Uh -huh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to drop him on this one, <laughs> right? Would you recommend then somebody using a ball for winter? Because some of us do this a ball for winter and a ball for summer. Now, this could come down to price point, and I get that. Yeah. But is there a benefit for using a, a winter golf ball and a summer golf ball? Um, I mean, <coughs> I, I, I would say no. Right. Um, as we've seen, distance carry everything today. Uh, you've got your best gains out of Pro V1X. If you're using Pro V1X in the summer, we've seen that you've got different distances with your wedge, different distances yeah. with your seven iron, different rollouts, even still in November. Yeah, and velocity, it's cold. With velocity and uh, all the different golf balls that we tried at the start on your short game. I, I, I would say play the same golf ball all the time. Now, what I would say to you is speak to your pro, find out if price does come into it and you do want to play something a little bit cheaper in the winter months. Okay, I'm a Privy One X player. Is there a golf ball that has a similar flight characteristic to that, which is going to save me a little bit of money through November, December, January, February, yeah. and then go back into your, into your summer golf ball? I'd say that's the best way to do it, which obviously is, is velocity in that kind of sense, or Pro V1, which would probably look at Torsoft um, a little bit down the line. So, yeah. uh, 
I'd like to see someone stay yeah. because of that distance control, that feel preference, that similarity of playing the same product over and over again. You don't change your irons to winter irons. No, nope, true. Yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah. There you go. You, yeah, you don't you don't change it to winter irons. But yeah. cost element, golf balls plug in. Maybe a few more lost golf balls in the winter. I can see the need. Just try and find one that's similar. Um, we have got them in the performance range for for Titleist that, that have similar ball flight characteristics to our premium performance golf balls. Cool, brilliant. All right. that, that's one thing I wanted to get out of the money there. Right mate, thank you very much. Guys, there you go. That's the review. This man is a star. If you're going to come and get involved feeding in the north of England at least, come and see Joe. All the best guys, take care. Cheers, bud. Cheers mate, thank you. Appreciate it.